Hello there, everybody. This is Shane Armonro, and um, we're going to be looking at the uh, the new Xbox Game Pass PC. Um, so first thing you're going to have to do is get this new Xbox beta application. I'll put a link in the description because they don't make it very easy to figure that out. Um, so once you get that guy and you get it installed, uh, you'll have to sign in, of course. I've done a lot of that for you just so you can take a look. Um, so right now, of course, they're offering this for a dollar, right? So this is one of those uh, those uh, first month sort of free for a dollar scenario, and then they try to charge you after that. Right now, the going rate is uh, $4.99 for those of you who may already or not be qualified for this sort of a deal. Um, uh, other than that, after I'm sure whatever this beta period is sometime in November, they will... Um, they'll probably be looking at charging you $9.99 a month. So what does this give you? So this is a Game Pass that's very similar if you've already got the Xbox Live Game Pass. There's a lot of crossover here in terms of what you have available to you. So that's something to keep in mind. If you've already got the Xbox Live Pass, uh, then you're probably going to, mm, I don't know, we'll, we'll look it over and you can decide for yourself. I mean, because everybody's gaming taste is different. Um, I'm not seeing a ton of value here, but some people may. Um, so what we're looking at here is really uh, an Xbox version of the Game Pass brought over to your PC. It does require that you download essentially a new gaming launcher. Uh, that won't make everybody happy. But um, what it does offer up is um, a handful of games that rotate throughout monthly that uh, give you some new stuff here and there. Let me double check and it says I'm broadcasting but I don't see a little icon interesting okay well we're just going to assume that it's working all right so uh, once you go ahead and you spend your dollar and you get your account authorized and um, you get this new app downloaded you do have to have Windows 10 of course because this is a Microsoft Store product um, that should be a given at this point if you're still on 7 um, I get it I understand everyone loves Windows 7 but unfortunately you're kind of screwed over in this case all right so this is the interface um, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, bring it up full screen give us a little more room to work even though it still kind of puts everything into columns all right so this is a let me just go back to the main screen here so this is it now for some reason first of all it doesn't know that I'm a member I don't know maybe that's just their ad banner or something but they don't seem to understand I'm already the member you know I already paid my dollar uh, and then it gives you a handful of you know sort of um, you know featured games or whatever pretty typical of these sort of launchers um, and so here you find uh, what's recently been added and you can see you know, some of this is kind of newish but most of it's sort of older indie stuff and of course most popular since it's just been out I don't understand how they can develop a most popular but whatever here's where you really start to see some of the more um, higher-end games um, like you know Wolfenstein 2 Metro Exodus football manager 2019 I don't know who's playing that but I mean the United States nobody plays soccer but apparently everyone else it's the biggest thing ever so maybe there's an audience for that but it's not me then you have this uh, roll of the uh, 1d 20 here to get some sort of a random game it shows you uh, a, a snapshot of all the games, a handful of indies, which is pretty much most of the collection. And then, of course, um, we have some uh, genre type filters here. So I think a lot of people are going to be interested in looking at uh, some action and adventure and shooters. So let's see exactly what we have available to us. So inside of shooters, um, we have a handful of things that are exciting. Again, if you've already got the Xbox Live Gold uh, or the Xbox Live Game Pass, a lot of this stuff was already available to you previously. Things like Gears of War 4, Sunset Overdrive. A lot of these games are, are really not unique if you've already are already bought into the Xbox ecosystem. So what about action uh, action adventure games? Let's pop in there. And again, they'll, they have some overlap here, some ARC, Rise of the Tomb Raider. See, that's a top quality title. But again, you've probably already got it in a humble bundle or something. Vampire's a decent game. Sea of Thieves was already included. Um, you know, most, a lot of, lot of indie stuff in here, right? A uh, lot of indie stuff, as you can tell. Gears of War 4 we spoke of. Recorp, that's a $9 game you can play. Uh, Abzu, Flame in the Flood, excellent game. But again, it's 5 bucks to, to buy it if you... Get yourself into a Steam sale of some sort. Brothers, Tale of Two Sons, again, good game, but you probably already own it. Um, State of Decay 2, Crackdown 3, already included, as well as Sunset Overdrive, was also already included with uh, the Xbox Live Pass. 
Game Pass. So, um, what else do we got then? So let's, uh, most people are like, well, just show me all the games and I'll decide what I think is good or not, right? So let's go ahead and do that. Um, so here you go. They're, I can tell their servers are a little bit uh, bogged down at this moment. Um, things are moving pretty slow and you'll get an occasional error here and there. So we can just pop through here. Uh, Forza, again, was included with the Game Pass. Uh, Gears of War Ultimate, I believe, was included. Um, let's see. I'm just going to poke through here and see if anything just jumps out at me. It's like, hey, wow, how great is this? Um, Super Hot's popular, only if you've got the VR version, though. Um, Slay the Spire. A bunch of my friends are playing that. Um, Abzu's good. Short, but it's a good game. Again, you probably already own it. Uh, let's see. Um, a lot of this stuff is is sort of rehash stuff, right? I mean, Thumb Thimbleweed. Thimbleweed Park is on Switch. Um, you know, uh, Metal Gear Slug. Uh, Into the Breach. Trying to see if there's anything. Uh, Snake Pass. A lot of this stuff is, you know, stuff that's on sale on Switch right now for a buck and a half. Um, so, again, if you're looking for, if what you're looking for is a lot of things to play, not necessarily anything extraordinary, then you might be okay. Titan Quest Anniversary, that's all right. Uh, Wasteland 2 is okay. Just a couple little headliner type stuff here. Um, yeah, Thumper's good. Again, you probably already have it on Switch or um, some other, uh, you probably got it in a Humble Bundle. I think that was available. So that's it. I mean, that's really the entire collection right there. Um, this is it. And they, of course, are promising, well, we're going to be adding more games all the time. And like with any other Game Pass system, they will be uh, dropping them off and they'll be putting new ones on. You never know from uh, month to month what game you might be playing currently that might get dropped from the collection. So again, uh, right now, uh, it's a dollar to get started for the month. And then it's uh, $4.99, $4.99 during the beta period. And then finally, um, at the end of the beta period, they're going to be charging you 10 bucks a month. So, and of course, they've uh, they brought up the Ultimate Pass, right? The Ultimate Xbox Ultimate Game Pass, where for 15 bucks a month, you can have Xbox Live, Xbox uh, Game Pass, and also Xbox Game Pass for PC for 15 bucks a month. That's actually a pretty good deal. Um, once, uh, once that deal goes into place and you can start getting some discounted versions of that, then um, that might be the way to go. Uh, at that point in time, it's no longer $5 on top of the $10 on top of the $15, that sort of thing. So it doesn't quite stack up as well. The interface looks pretty good, though. I mean, we can hop into one of these games. Um, everything looks pretty good. It's included with Game Pass. As you can see, like I said, these things um, are tending to not load right now, probably due to the high load on their server. Uh, of course, they, they bring in their mixer product to show you who might be uh, mixing with this right now. And a whole bunch of stuff that's dead because their servers are patoot so uh you can go into sunset overdrive see if we can get some more there we go you get some more visuals you get some video um you know standard stuff that you expect um pan your way through get some pictures get some videos blah 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 and uh installing is pretty simple um again it just for some reason it thinks that i am not a subscriber which i already know that i am um so they're going to make you do the login thing again Hopefully I'm already logged in. More password nonsense. I don't know what it is. Their servers are just in bad shape right now, but that's okay. I say something went wrong, so they have no idea what's going on. Anyway, um, I did install a game successfully earlier, so um, that's good. And you can see the games I have over here, State of Decay 2. See, I did install it. Uh, and uh, I'm assuming if I had more than one, they'd be listed on the side. You can just do a quick button, and it's going to try to minimize... Um, my window and then go ahead and boot the game so uh, again it's all it's all trapped within the confines of the windows store um so that's uh that's sort of thing. And probably because i'm streaming it's doing weird stuff you probably already played the game again guess we're gonna have to wait ah there we go so again, uh, State of Decay 2 is uh, a really good game. If you played the first one, you've, you've probably, uh, you, you've pretty much already played it. Um, quite honestly, State of Decay 2 is a lot like its, uh, its uh, younger brother. Let's see if I can get out of this thing. There we go. Hey, 
Anyway, so uh, if you're looking to play some of these uh, Microsoft first-party titles that uh, maybe you did not already have, uh, welcome to the Heartland. Cool. So this is the new um, story-based content pack that they were uh, bringing in that they were just talking about at E3. So that's cool. Uh, I might be interested in actually taking a look at it now that we've got this new uh, Heartland plug-in. All right, well, we're going to get out of here because that's not what you came here to see. This is David K2. And I'll be curious if it relaunches that Xbox. It does not. So you'll have to bring that back and play your next game. So there you go. I uh, hope you enjoyed a quick look at this. Um, please uh, follow me on YouTube and, uh, of course, here on um, on uh, Twitch and on Twitter, Shane Armand Thanks for watching, everybody.